ذات يوم في فصل الشتاء تحت ظل ضجيج المطر غمرتني دموع الحياة وإزالت غبار الحجر Hey, sir. Just come out over here for a minute, please. Okay. Let's sit down on the stool for me. Okay. Right there. Okay. And please uh, keep your hands out of your pockets. What's going on? Not much. What are you up to tonight? Yes. Talking to her. That's it. Yeah. Talking to who? The, the Evie. Evie? Yeah. And do you know how old Evie is? Thirteen. Thirteen. And how old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen? You want to try again? Twenty-five, son. Twenty-five. And why did you think it was okay to come here and have a, a meeting with uh, Evie? If she's thinking about it. I know. Sorry about that. What was your plan here? Not just talk to her. That's it. Just talk to her? Yeah. That's it. Then why did you send pictures of your stuff like this to her? Oops. Oops. I will never do it again. Promise. Never do it again? Yep. I take off my list. Never talk to her again. And you say a lot of uh, sexually charged things to her. Mm -hmm. For a 13-year-old girl. Oops. I know what I did wrong. Okay. It will never happen again. Okay. Go ahead, you can move. Okay. Sorry about that. Seibert told the Riverside police he gets treatment for seizures and that the scar on his head was caused by a fall when he was an infant. Do you work? Yes. Later, he pleaded guilty to a charge of attempted lewd acts with a child and attempting to send harmful matter to a child with intent to seduce. He was convicted and sentenced to 18 months in state prison. And you should also know that there is another side to Seibert's story. He served a year in jail for a dangerous assault. Hey, come here. Here he is. Okay, we're not messing around with this guy. You do not let him get within six feet of you, eight feet of you. Who's all here? Just me. Oh. Promise, my parents are gone. You know, you look familiar to me. Oops. That's right. Oops, he's done it again. Michael, right? Oops, sorry. Do you remember who I am? Can't, can't get school. What are you doing here, Michael? I'm sorry. You were just in court on Friday, right? Mm-hmm. And what happened in court on Friday? He said more time. More time before the next court date? Yeah. I'm sorry about it, did. Okay. But you got to explain to me why or how you thought it was okay after having a court date stemming from our last visit, and then within 24 hours you show up at this house to meet another young girl. What are you thinking about? Now you know. I, I know it. You know what you said online, right? Yeah. How old is this girl? No, no. Thirteen. She told you she was thirteen. Yeah, and I told her to go away. And she keeps eyeing me back. You ask if she's got naked pictures of herself. You ask if she performs oral sex. What color her underwear is? Now, Michael, you know this is not right. Do no. this, right? And we had this very same conversation in Riverside, California. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. And right then, you told me that you knew this was wrong. I know. That. And that you would never, ever do it again. And that turned out to be a lie, didn't it, Michael? I promise this time, if you rip it up, I'll never come back. What was the deadly weapon you used in the assault? Bat. And who did you go after with the bat? Some guy? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Michael? I know I did wrong. You did wrong. Can I go? Michael, you can go. But I'm going to remind you that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing another story on adults who try to meet kids on the internet for sex. You I know I did wrong. You can go. You can go right now. You can walk right out that door. 
You need cops out there? That's not up to me, Michael. It, yeah, it is. I'm not the police. So why don't you go ahead, Michael? It's time to go. Hmm. I need a bathroom. Michael, you're gonna have to go outside. I know, I hear him. Walk out, walk out, get on your knees. Like the others, Seibert is charged with an attempted lewd act upon a child. He pleaded no contest. His lawyer says Seibert has severe mental issues. 